going on YouTube? Welcome back, it's Yums, and today we have a very special video, the return of Mini Scheme Monday. We're gonna be working out a Trey Y Flex today in the Chiefs playbook, but it is in 23 different playbooks. So it's something that a lot of you can pick up and incorporate into your overall game plan as a secondary formation, something like that. It's good out of the run, good out of the pass. Get into it. What's going on y'all? So we're in Trey Y Flex in practice mode. We are in the Chiefs playbook. And I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all the audibles we're gonna need to set up. So we're gonna come in, we're gonna set up a level switch. Look like that. We're gonna set up our RPO alert Omaha. Omaha. We're gonna set up dagger. And the last one you want to set up is post dig. So let's start off. We're gonna get into a few setups. We're gonna talk about why these are good, uh, why it's good in the current meta, why it's good overall. So first off, bubble sale, bubble switch. Pretty much the same thing. Uh, you can come up and you can just quick snap this. Running back is almost always open. If they use her that. That's when you need to watch out. So if you see user crash down this way, do not throw that. That means they're coming for the pick. That's that's their read. They've read that. If they do that and they come down, let's say they're in a cover three, which is what this is best against. And that's going to leave that corner route open over the top. Our man doesn't catch it this time. You can see how it was open. Now, let's go over a few adjustments I like to make. Personally, I like to put this tight end, A, here, on a streak. We're gonna put B on a slant. And then we're gonna motion B across, and we're gonna snap it as soon as B gets across, but before he's set. The reason we're gonna do this is because it's gonna give us a motion slant coming back across the other side of the field. You see everything is moving to the right side of the field right now. It's gonna give us an option moving back to the left. And this route here is gonna clear things out for us for these deep dig, this deep dig of Y. It also could get open over the top with how halves are playing, depending on what coverage they're in. We'll move Hopkins across the line. And we snap. There, it did get open. So, in this meta, that, that could be open. Generally, that's going to be our pull route. And we're looking primarily underneath. Deep dig, big chunk of yards there, see? Nice and open, again, take a look at that. And take a look, tight end, clears the safety. Safety comes with him. That leaves all this nice juicy room underneath, wide open. Last time, Motion Hopkins across. Our primary read is going to be the deep dig. Next check down, going to be Hopkins. Hopkins is not open. Coming across the field. Remember, you always have your running back across the bat out of the backfield, or it happens to be a heavy pressure. Remember, you have your running back on an outlet pass. Take your few and live to fight another play. The second play we're going to go over is the RPO Alert Ama Omaha. So the only problem that, that with this play is it does have a bit of a tell. As you can see, our outside receiver and our middle receiver move in there. And it is a fantastic play though, especially on the goal line. 
uh, or in goal line situations or in short yardage situations as it's just really hard to defend we have the slot receiver and the tight end coming out and we also have a, a running play we can hand it off oh, we'll hand it off and you can see we're always going to pick up a few yards right there don't know how to hand these little rpos off uh you just hold a i go to the running back the trickier part of this is going to be throwing it now when throwing you need to make sure there's not a hard flat or that the user doesn't crash this way the user crashes here or if the user crashes here they're not open if you see this guy or you see this guy drop into a flat come down hard it's also not open don't throw it and the ball off. If those things don't happen, if these guys drop into coverage, the user is in the middle, as on the running back, but not. Then, quick little couple yards to the tight end. Or, same thing across the field. We can go ahead and hit our slot receiver. I don't like the slot receiver as much, which is a sketchier situation, especially against a live opponent. So I would primarily stick to and in this ball off or looking A. So if this again, if, if the user is crashing this way, we're gonna hand the ball off. If this corner is coming this way, we're gonna hand the ball off. If the corner is dropping, or if he's sitting in man coverage, or if this guy is sitting in man coverage. Or he's dropping, then we're gonna throw the tight end round. And we'll take our few yards. The next play we're gonna get into is a uh, classic in Trey White Flex. It's gonna be Dagger. So this is gonna be really good, especially in the current meta. Um, Deep Habs not playing well. Uh, Deep Blues in general not playing very well. And you can see this just really attacks things deep. That's what it's going to look like when we put it all together. Let me uh, run you through it real fast. This is stock. We're going to go ahead and streak A. That's this guy, the tight end. We're going to go ahead and drag Y over here. And we're going to go ahead and block our running back. It is a uh, right trigger. So once we've done that, it'll look like this. Now this place is especially going to destroy cover three, but as you can see, um, worst case, if the this uh, Hopkins isn't open on the crosser, we have a backside dig and we also have Kirk coming across the with the drag. So there's still potential on this play, regardless of the coverage. Gonna snap this ball. And you can see, just gets over the top. See Hopkins just gets across the field. There's really just no one. He's just got all this space back here. Just a run in. So making it behind this corner. Worried about this mitt underneath. Who he honestly shouldn't be worried about. This guy should be worried about. But hey, that's mad. All right, so again on dagger, we are gonna streak our tight end, that's A. We're gonna drag our uh, two receiver, or Y receiver. We are going to block the running back. And when we snap this ball, again, the primary read is gonna be B. Otherwise, we can check down to X or Y. Say B's covered there. Great, we'll take Y, and we'll take our nice little gain. This is especially good in a third and short situation. Opening all these people deep. And it really just draws them out, draws the defense out. In a third down situation, I might send the running back out as well. If this was Mutt, might have a table route. That'd be preferable to this uh, swing route. For this aura 
but that works too. All right, so the last play we're gonna go over is post wide dig. This one. And I was testing this before and it was working against every coverage. It is fantastic. This play has been dotting for me online. We're gonna go ahead and hitch route A, tight end. And we're gonna out route our running back. If we're in mud, we wanna table route this guy going to be way more preferable. If they start to cover the table route, of course, we always want to switch it up and go to a real wheel route. So if they ever start to cover the table route, do them start to crash with the user, do them start to put flats there, you want to go ahead and switch it up and put a wheel. But first, good. I'm going to hitch A. And we're gonna send an RB on a table or an out route. Go ahead and snap this ball, and our primary read is D hop. Oof, okay. That time it wasn't a good throw. Really gotta practice this pass lead, I will say. There you go. You can cover four again. And hit it on cover four. It's a little bit sketchier. Um, it's a little bit, I should be throwing it a little bit sooner on this cover four. But if they're in cover four, it's going to be one of the better coverages right now. I'll have a video about that soon. If they're in cover four, you want to throw it more on this break. Yeah, he has so much space right there. Much safer throw, see. D hop, then and right on this break. See, just has no jerseys around him. There's plenty of space. I'm going to take that play every time. And I'll show you against uh, another coverage. Show you against man. Uh, and you can see we get an inaccurate touch pass that time, but the hop was wide open. Throwing cover one. Go against man. And you can see that gets open as well. So really just a burner play. It's open against a lot. Uh, I've really been enjoying this Chiefs playbook. Gonna drop some more out of it. it Come soon. This Trey Y Flex though. Uh, found in a variety of books. Over 20 books I believe. So something you can go ahead and uh, instill in any offense. Almost any offense. As a secondary formation. Um, it runs fantastic out of it. And as you can see, we have some dots as well. I hope you all enjoyed Mini Scheme Monday. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Slide on over to my Twitch, twitch.tv slash yums underscore nine five. I'm probably live right now. And I'll catch you next time. Or on Twitch.